In this video, Simon's going to be reviewing these. The Innovate G, I keep forgetting what it is, 280 80. trail ship. Good morning, everybody, and good morning. Oh, God. How are you doing? So, this video, Simon is going to be reviewing the Innovate G280. I think they're called G280. I keep getting it wrong. Trail shoe, which is an exciting shoe because we've got an infused nitrogen infused midsole in the shoe. We've got a monster grip, and we'll show you all this when we finish. But it's a fast, lightweight trail shoe with a great upper, which is what makes it exciting so we're giving them the time at the day to run as we do this 10 mile trail run out here in wherever we are what's it called Panasanger Park. Panasanger Park so we'll get his feelings his impressions of it when we get back I'll put something on the screen now with all the stats and features because there's no way I'm going to remember it when I'm running along here but yeah we'll come on to uh, at the end of the video how we found them over this 10 miles but I mean, the first thing to say, Sai, is how light they feel, isn't it? Well, it feels like you ain't got nothing on your feet, really. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the thing with them. There are... There's a lot of grip as well. Yeah, monster grip. We'll show them at the end. But it's a quick, grippy, light trail shoe. And yeah. that's why it's exciting to get them on the channel. I've got to give a shout out to Start Fitness, actually, yep. who uh, supplied the shoe. If you go over to startfitness.co.uk, use the code 40 runs. You can get 10% off of those shoes and other running shoes. We don't get paid for any of that. Uh, we don't get a penny, but you can use that code and get 10% off. Right, so we're gonna get this trail done. We're then checking in with Simon. We'll show you some awesome B-roll with music, because you know it's a running video after all. And then we'll catch up exactly what they're like. Over this 10 miles. So right, say bye, Si. Bye. Catch you in a bit. So done, eight miles in the end, and these. So I talked to the viewers about these. Quite impressed to be honest, very light. Yeah. Massive grip. Let's have a look at the grips actually. Oh yeah, it's a beast, isn't it? Look. Like there was no slipping whatsoever. Yeah, I mean that was proper wet out there as well. Yeah, there was nothing. And to be surprising, even though Keep, foot, keep the foot dry as well. Yeah? Yeah, no, nothing come through. And look, I mean, it's quite a thick upper on them. There wasn't one. No, they, 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 were, they were They were good, like perfect. Because like, that looks thick, doesn't it? Yeah, but look, they're so light though. Yeah, they are light. They're just, to be honest, it was a good shoe. Fast? Yeah, you, not fair, you picked up the pace a little bit. Yeah, what was we doing, about nine minute miles? Nine minute miles, you could easily go a bit quicker. Do you know what I mean? There wasn't really any complaints. Fit, uh, well, this is the thing with the fit, right? So just as a bit of a heads up. So I got these sent to me by Start Fitness. They actually sent me a nine, which is no good for me, because uh, I'm a nine and a half. But actually, you're usually an eight and a half, yeah. but they fit, they fit fine for size. You would, I would want a nine. Yeah. Because you, you, you want that, yeah, and you've got normal socks on. Yeah. Um, and that's why I size tested them, because they were a bit too small for me in the nine. So I thought we'd get Si to um, try them out, which is good. They definitely run small. So yeah. They would, yeah so just watch your up. sizing, guys, on them. But overall, you like it, haven't you? There's that midsole, let's say that nitro-fused midsole, which is where it gets the lightness yeah. from. But was, it, was it firm ride, soft ride, or just right? It wasn't, I would say it's right for a trail shoe. Yeah. It wasn't soft, because you wouldn't want that soft, because you'd be... It'd yeah. be too, you'd be too into the floor, the, the, like the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good, yeah, it was right. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't really, Yeah. it was just a good all round shoe, really. Yeah, so there you go. So I think the only thing I think for me, right, price. is the price. Yeah, it's 165 quid. Look, if they was 120, yeah, they'd be a really good you shoe. You're going to get 10% off because of the code using uh, 40 runs to get 10% off, but still 165 quid. I think because they're going to come down in price, right? Problem is, you can get yeah. take to next. 135. Yeah, 100. Oh, okay, here's the thing, right? It's a bit unfair because the one's got to play, but what would you rather have, Tex and X or them? Just all round general trail use. I've, I've never. I thought I'd, for price, yeah. I'd the Tex and X. But they're, normally they're 170 quid, so you could say that they're discounted down. 
They're probably just as good as each other. That's what I'm saying to you. They've done and, a good job today. And the thing is, the Texan X is light. This is light. Yeah, look at that grip on that. That's got a better tread than the Texan, Texan X. X. So Texan, I, yeah, maybe this is better than. Yeah, there you go. Right, so that's it. Let us know in the comments if you've gone for these. The G, I still can't say it. G280 Ultra Fly. Ultra Fly. Yeah, there we go. Got it right at the end. Um, innovate. And I'm, I'm glad we've got some Innovate shoes on here because we haven't had them on there. So thank you, Star Fitness, for sending them over. And thank you, Sai, for all testing them out, really, today, bruv. Thank you. Say bye, boys. Bye, boys. <laughs>